a military contractor and weapons manufacturer with facilities on an army base in Washington state, forced employees to watch anti-union videos ahead of an important union vote. That's according to an investigation from In These Times, which examined the practices of General Dynamics Land Systems at Fort Lewis, Washington. Employees, many of whom are military veterans, also allege the company routinely told them that if they joined the union, they could lose the government contract. The story by In These Times reporter Mike Elk has prompted a Labor Department investigation. Mike Elk joins us now to tell us more about this story. Welcome to FSRN. Great to be on the show. First, tell us about Marine combat veteran Jason Croak, an employee with General Dynamics. What did he tell you about these meetings? Well, they, you know, these are a lot of workers that are working on striker attack vehicles. And he, you know, he was in a situation where he was being forced to attend near daily anti-union meetings. They were bringing folks in for meetings. And, um, you know, basically... You know, they were pretty upset about it. You know, here were all these guys that fought in Afghanistan, and they're being forced to attend these meetings. Now, Kroak also told me that they would make them mark the meetings as training on their time cards, and they were the suspect that, um, that you know, the, the company was secretly charging the meetings to the federal government and seeking reimbursement for the meeting. And where did the meetings take place? On an army base. I mean, that's what's really incredible about this, was this wasn't private property. They forced workers to attend these meetings on public property of an army base. And the union wasn't allowed to come in and talk to anybody about it. That's the really incredible part. In your article, you include a response from the president of General Dynamics, uh, Mark Roulette. He was responding to questions from Congress. He said, quote, We have conducted these meetings in a non-threatening and non-coercive manner and in according with applicable laws. Meetings held since January 2012 have not been charged as training and have not been billed to our customer, meaning the, the federal government. Give us some background about General Dynamics. What kind of work do they do for the U.S. government? And how big are their contracts? General Dynamics does a lot of defense work. In this case, they're, they're fixing striker combat vehicles. Um, they get $19 billion from the federal con- government, so they're a fairly big contractor. And I think, you know, when you're that big, they think they can just break the law. And the law in this case is you can't reimburse, uh, ask for reimbursement from the government for this kind of work. Now, talk more about that, about the question of reimbursing um, the federal government for this kind of work. And talk about Executive Order 13494, which went into effect last November. What what rules does it outline for anti-union activity? So basically, the the executive order passed by Obama says that, uh, you know, that that basically contractors can't seek reimbursement from the federal government for what they do. Now, what the Department of Labor and, and the union suspects is that the company did not file disclosure reports saying what outside forces it was hiring to help union bust because they were trying to hide the evidence. And this is where they've gotten into some trouble, and the Department of Labor has opened an investigation. And how about that investigation by the Department of Labor? What do you know about what they're looking at? What's the focus of their investigation? I mean, basically what they're looking into, and they're they're talking about doing an audit of General Dynamics, is that General Dynamics did not disclose how much money it was spending on union busters. And what could come from an investigation like this? If, if there is an audit that goes forward, um, what's, what could come up from it, and, and what are the consequences? What, what could come up is that they did indeed charge the federal government, and this was the practice, and it could lead to them losing uh, their government contracts, perhaps, potentially, or having to pay back the government, but it could, you know, or citations. Mike Elk is a journalist with In These Times magazine. He joined us to discuss his reporting on military contractor General Dynamics and its conducting of anti-union meetings with employees in Washington State. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks.